Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to talk about Trump and Trump's desire to have conformity within the Republican Party and how that is likely to crush Republican senatorial dreams. Okay, so what's going on? Trump is organizing... Uh, well, he's creating a situation where you have to come out in favor of him. Okay? You have to come out and oppose the verdict. For Republicans running in competitive areas, that doesn't work. If they come out and they issue some statement that is just super bland, you know, respect the verdict and the legal process. Something that simple. Well, he's going to come after him and attack him. His team is going to show up. Team Trump is going to be like, you just ended your campaign. I, that's not like a hypothetical. That happened. Larry Hogan in Maryland. A guy in Maryland, in Maryland, is expected to come out and oppose the verdict. If he does that, he loses the independence and likely the election. But if he gets attacked for a, a, let's call it a nuanced stance on the verdict, if he gets attacked by MAGA for that, well, then they don't vote for him. And he likely loses the election. Trump's uh, desire to purity test on this one has put a whole lot of Republicans running in competitive areas in a situation where they might as well just end their campaign. Because if their options are opposing the verdict or incurring Trump's wrath, odds are they can't win. Regardless of anything else, that will be a dividing position. And the Democratic Party, I guarantee you they see this, and the opponents of the Republican candidates in competitive districts or competitive states, they're going to try to get them on the record on this. And however that goes, if Trump pursues this apparent strategy of trying to force conformity, those competitive districts and states, the Republican Party is going to lose them. I don't see how a, quote, moderate Republican will be able to navigate this. Because Trump is building that energized base to oppose the verdict, if you have a Republican that doesn't oppose the verdict, well, that base isn't going to vote for him. And if they do oppose the verdict, the independents, those that might vote for a moderate Republican, they're no longer going to be seen as moderate. Trump's ego is about to cost the Republican Party dearly. Um, and because it's his ego, I don't see him backing away from this. I am certain that Republican senatorial leaders are on the phone with Trump's campaign saying, you can't do this. I feel like Trump isn't going to care. I might be wrong, but it seems unlikely. The position that he is putting those candidates in is a no-win. And I don't just mean that in the sense of they have a difficult choice. I mean, no matter what choice they make, it decreases their likelihood of being able to pull off an electoral victory. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.